All right, so this is actually going to be your very first assignment. And right here, this is the page with all the answers on it. I'm actually not going to post this one. What you'll see under assignments is this page here. It says all the different lab equipment, they're all numbered. Okay, so number one is this one. Uh, the second page to this looks exactly like this here, and it has number one and a blank beside it, number two and a blank beside it. So what you're going to need to do is find on your own. So if you don't know what it is, just look it up, do a Google search, okay, and say, oh, I remember using that last year. It's a Bunsen burner. And then beside the blank here, you're going to write Bunsen burner. So what I'm assuming you're going to do is you're going to print this off and then just write in all the names, uh, take a picture of it and send it back to me through the VLE under assignments. Okay, so just take a picture of it and send it back. If you just want to type it up and go one in the number, two in the number, do it right on the computer, I'm okay with that. So however it's easiest, but just make sure you submit it under assignments. So you can write it out by hand, take a picture, send it to me if you just want to type it all on the computer um, and send it to me that way so you don't have to take a picture. I'm okay with either method. So all the numbers correspond to a blank. And in case you're having trouble finding any of them, I'm just going to go through them very, very quickly. So this is a Bunsen burner. Okay, utility clamp. We use that to, I use it to use uh, test tubes on one of these ring stands. An evaporating dish is if you want something just to sit and uh, we heat the bottom and let the water all go away. Uh, we know what test tubes are, beaker, corks, and rubber stoppers kind of do the same thing. Uh, Mutar and pestle, that's if you're going to crush something. I have one of these in my kitchen. The iron ring, now this is interesting. So the iron ring, we put on the ring stand, and we're lucky in our classroom. These just screw right into the desk. You don't have the base. But anyway, so you screw this on. You put one of these wire gauzes on top, and then you could set one of these beakers on top of that. And again, I just want to, in case you can't find the names of some of these pictures, going over the, the names for you. You can watch the video and hopefully catch it. So we have uh, safety goggles. Scupula is basically like a spoon. Uh, you're going to use this in your very first lab. Elmeyer flask is if you want a little bit less splashing, it narrows at the top versus a, a beaker. Let's keep going. Graduated cylinder to measure liquids, thermometer, you know what that does, just a wash bottle or water bottle. Uh, micro pipettes, so it's the same as a, a eyedropper, except just a little longer. They're plastic, eyedroppers can be glass. So these two things do the same thing, just to soak up some water and then um, deliver it to another place. Four steps are like tweezers, a file, I don't think we'll ever use a fire. A brush. So there's all kinds of brushes when we do a lab. Some fit inside the um, beakers, others fit in the test tubes. We also have a test tube rack and a funnel. So any words that I talk too fast or you missed, you can look them up. Just say common lab equipment. They're all numbered on this page. And then you just write them in beside the appropriate number. 